I love Dallas. Ah, it's a great place. It really is. I'd like to let my audience know that Jack Osborne is the son of legendary rocker Ozzy Osborne and his famous mom, Sharon Osborne. Jack, thanks so much for talking to us about the Summer Music Festival. Tell me about Fuse News and what you deliver about uh, festivals. Well, Fuse News is a, uh, a nightly music news show. Uh, we, we kind of we, we pride ourselves in being the the only true music news network uh, network and news show uh, on TV right now. Um, and we, uh, you know, we we come at things with a very journalistic approach. We and so the summer uh, we're spending a lot of our time covering a lot of festivals. What kind of festivals do you have on your agenda? Because you know Texas is known for a lot of festivals, especially Austin. Yep, um, you know so South by Southwest. You know something we cover. Um, I mean, we're co we've covered uh, Bonnaroo so far, Firefly, uh, Coachella, and so many more coming up. I mean, it's it's uh, it's a busy time for us in the summer. If someone wanted to get a listing of festivals, because I, from what I was reading, people this is some what some people do all summer go to different festivals. Where could they find a comprehensive list online? Um, you can go to Fuse.tv, which is a uh, uh, Fuse Network's website, and they should have uh, a listing of kind of festivals that we're covering, and which is pr pretty much most of the big ones. Are there <laughs> any big name acts that are doing festivals this year that we should be aware of? Oh, I mean, I, I mean, Chili Peppers, um, Nine Inch Nails later on in the year. They they're kind of coming out of a hiatus. Um, <clears throat> uh, man, there's so many big, I mean, you name it, they're, they're doing it. You know, all the big acts are. Coming from uh, a musical legend like your, fa your father, Ozzy Osbourne, is this where your desire to really get into the music scene comes from? Um, well, yeah, because it's something I've always, I I've grown up around it. I've, uh, you know, festivals are... Uh, kind of where I feel at home. It was funny, the last festival I was at, I was with a friend of mine who used to be a roadie, and we were talking about how actually, how comfortable we feel at festivals just because it's it's the world we grew up in. So it's, uh, it's like a nostalgic kind of uh, feeling from it all. Now that you've come to adulthood, we'll say that, because we've kind of seen you since you were a young teen, you're now in adulthood. I understand that you're being challenged. Your health is being challenged. How's your health? I'm good right now. You know, I'm, I'm hanging. I have a little bit of a cold, so excuse the occasional cough. Um, but uh, other than that, I'm uh, I'm good. I'm hanging in there. And you're also a family man at this age. I am. I am. I do have a a wife and child. How's that going? <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I was uh, I was definitely hard pressed uh, leaving this morning when my my baby was sprawled out in bed with us. I didn't want to. I didn't want. I didn't want to leave her. <laughs> <laughs> well, life sounds like it's never been so good. It is definitely a good time right now. Well, I want to thank you for talking to us about the festival. Are you coming to Dallas with any of the festivals that they'll be having here, or Austin, um, or something like that? I, you know, I might. I might be in uh, at South by Southwest this year. Uh, well, I guess it's next next year at this point. Um, but I'll find my way out there soon enough. All right, then. Well, you know, the weather's nice and the easy is living in Dallas, Texas. I know Jack that. Osborne, thank you so very much for talking about festivals, and good luck on your, on your Fuse News. Thank you. I appreciate it.